They flipped once again. I have all the details and what's actually going on right here in the video. So let's get right into it. All right, now in this video, I wanna share with you what is actually going on because what all of these talking heads continue to tell us is completely opposite of what all of the economic data is showing and all of the recent reports that have been released. Therefore, let's get into it and talk about what is actually happening and what all of this means for all of us, the American people, especially low income and of course, fixed income beneficiaries. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video as it's totally free to do so and because I am your one and only daily advocate and because we are rapidly approaching 500,000 subscribers right here on the channel and it would mean a lot to me if you hit that subscribe button right down below as I'm here for you each and every day to help you out in any way that I can as it is my dedication, my commitment, and my promise to you and everybody right here in the community to watch all of this information, to break it all down into these short videos, as it's a very busy, confusing, and a very uncertain time that we are currently living through. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, and let's get into it and talk about all the details and why we need to offer some clarification on this, because what they continue to tell us is not totally accurate, even though they make it sound like, oh yeah, everybody's totally fine right now. Really? Well, let's talk through the details. First off, hit the like button right down below if you agree with the following statement. We are completely sick of all of these people coming out, politicians, by the way, is who I'm talking about, who are saying, oh yeah, America is great. Everything is going fine right now. The American people are fine and dandy. The finances of the American consumer are improving. Everybody has plenty of money right now. Uh, spending habits are on the increase. In other words, people are spending all kinds of money. The economy is great and inflation is going down. Are you kind of sick of people saying that? Because honestly, maybe they haven't stepped out of their little bubble recently, but I don't think that's the case. We continue to see this with all the reports out there. And I think all of us are agreeing that, um, yeah, that's really not the case for the vast majority of people. So we've talked about it before. A lot of these politicians, they don't really step out of their little Washington bubble. Maybe they should sometime because they would actually see what is actually happening. All right, so let me talk through the details. There's a bunch of different things that are coming out right now. And again, I wanted to offer clarification on this because I was just reading more information and I was even listening to a few politicians recently talking and they're like, ah, oh, everybody's fine. Everybody has tons of cash right now. It's totally fine. All is good. Inflation is coming down a ton, right? Really? I'm not sure where they shop, but, um, not sure if you, uh, where you do, but uh, inflation is not coming down, right? So let's quickly talk through the details. So here's the deal. As of recently, we continue to see the inflation reports that are coming out showing, oh wait, inflation is actually going back up, right? The last couple of months here in the, uh, the inflation reports that we've been receiving are actually showing that inflation uh, stalled out, it plateaued, and it's actually moving higher. So back in June of last year, we saw inflation top out at 9.1%. From June through early 2023, we started to see inflation kind of going down really, really slowly. But then guess what? It's plateaued. Over the last couple months here, it has plateaued out, and now we're seeing it move higher again. But again, during that entire time through basically the second half of 2022, even though it looked like inflation was coming down, yes, inflation was coming down on some things like airline tickets and used cars and event price or event tickets and things like this. I mean, seriously, how many of us are buying those things on a regular basis? I'm not sure about you. I. I, I can't remember the last time I bought a used car. In fact, it's been a very, very long time, like a decade. I mean, let's just be real for a second, which by the way, uh, just for those of you that are wondering, no, I actually don't drive, okay? So don't worry, <laughs> blind people don't drive. At least I don't anyway. Um, so no, um, it's been a very long time since I've had a driver's license, like 17 years since the last time I operated a vehicle. But um, that's a totally different story. We can talk about that in a separate video if you'd like me to, but um, no, I don't drive just for the record, okay? But my point is, we're not buying airline tickets. We're not buying event tickets, things like this. And most of us are not buying used cars anytime recently, right? So as a result of that, these are some of the items that prices are going down on. However, just like we've seen for many, many months now, prices are still rising on rents, shelter, housing. Um, well, all, the, all of those are basically the same. Um, healthcare, food prices are going up rapidly. And we've been seeing this for many months now where food prices continue to rise at a pace of about three tenths to about six tenths of 1% every single month. And food inflation is still up about 12% year over year. Again, that's huge, right? And how many of us are buying food on a regular basis? 
pretty much all of us, right? So that's a very um, key factor that we need to keep in mind going forward. Now also remember this much as well, March, we all know this much, especially if you're a low income uh, beneficiary of SNAP benefits, otherwise known as food stamps, you know this much, the extra allotment stopped, March, done, gone, right? Well, let me ask you, if you were a beneficiary of that extra allotment on your SNAP benefits, has that impacted you and the amount of food you've been able to get this month? Uh, yeah, I think so, right? I think all of us are agreeing that, yeah, that's a bad, bad situation. In fact, I was out a couple weeks ago showing a report that came out showing how much the uh, grocery, uh, grocery stores and like food vendors are going to be impacted by that extra allotment not going out anymore. In fact, over the last three years, they showed $98 billion was paid out just in extra allotments during a three-year period of time. So about $33 billion a year is what was going out in just the extra allotment. Allotment. So a lot of grocery stores and food vendors are saying, uh, this is going to impact our bottom line a lot. That's a lot of extra money. Well, yeah, but do we care about their bottom line? Uh, not really. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just make sure that they have the availability of the items that we need. And honestly, we don't really care about the bottom line of grocers and food vendors. I mean, you know, they're providing a service. Yes, they're selling food, things like that. But at the end of the day, um, we're not worried about their profits. We're worried about getting food on our tables and in our refrigerators and in our pantries. That is what we are the most worried about. So long story short here, what I'm, ta uh, what I'm pointing out here is it's a lot of these politicians and a lot of these talking heads out there continue to come out and say, oh, all is well, all is good. Inflation has gone down substantially. But what they're really not doing is looking at the real big picture here. Inflation is going back up. We can clearly see it from the reports that are coming out and we can clearly see over the last couple months here that inflation is moving back higher. Now, this is not too much of a surprise uh, because we've seen this coming. We knew that this was coming and we knew that inflation was actually not going down at the pace that they were always telling us. Over the last six or seven months or so, we've been going through all the reports here coming out showing that, um, yeah, we can clearly see that inflation is not moving down like they're telling us, maybe on some things, but rather the necessities that people actually need, that food, uh, uh, the food inflation, shelter inflation, healthcare inflation, it's still going up and that's impacting especially a lot of the low income and fixed income beneficiaries. Now, a couple of side notes I want to point out about this. Number, well, I was going to say number two, but I guess I'm not sure what number I would be on at this point because I've talked about a number of different things here. But we've also got to pay attention to this much as well. The Federal Reserve will be meeting here very, very soon yet again. And this is something we got to pay attention to because guess what happens? When the Federal Reserve meets, what do they do? They talk about the economy. They talk about inflation. They talk about interest rates. They talk about all these different things. And then this is going to predicate what is going on with, it, um, with interest rates going forward as well. And again, why do we care about that? Well, number one, we've got inflation taking more money out of our pocket. Therefore, we don't have the money. We float those balances on credit cards. And then guess what? When the Federal Reserve comes in and raises interest rates even more, it just means that it's going to cost us even more to float balances on credit cards because the interest rate would move higher yet again. So you can see how this is a big old cycle we've got to get out of. This is not okay. Inflation is taking our money. Um, interest rates are taking our money. You know what I mean? It's just not a good situation. But this is the situation that we're in. So we need to understand what is actually happening. And it would just be nice if these politicians actually told us what is really happening rather than just telling us all of this um, you know, misleading information suggesting, oh, don't worry, everyone. Inflation has gone down a ton and um, we're all good to go. We're in the clear sailing now. Well, not really, right? So that's what we continue to see with all these reports. So when it comes down to it, we've got to continue watching the Federal Reserve here very, very closely as they continue to beat here. We'll have to see, will they raise interest rates yet again more aggressively? We already know this much. The Federal Reserve will raise interest rates even more. We know this. This is pretty much a guarantee. It's pretty much in the books. How much is going to be the big question? Is it going to be 25 basis points again? Another 50 basis points? 75? What's it going to be? Well, that is still yet to be seen, but we know that they're going to continue raising interest rates probably pretty aggressively through at least the first half of this year. Now, again, that's only a couple more months to go here, but um, it's still going to raise interest rates. And that just means it's going to cost us more money at the end of the day with all of these, um, you know, uh, the um, interest rates uh, that we're currently paying just to borrow that money, right? So tough situation. So Anyway, I want to bring this to your attention because I was, you know, as I do this research and I continue to look through all this information and hear other people talk and stuff like that, I'm just like, 
You got to be kidding me. You know what I mean? They got to step out of their bubble and actually recognize what is actually happening. So when it comes down to it, we've got to continue watching all of this very closely here. At the end of the day, all of this information comes back and it circles around. And again, it impacts the American people. Like the inflation reports, what comes out of the Federal Reserve, what goes on with the job market, which by the way, we can clearly see that the job market and the unemployment rate, it still looks very good and healthy. But that's actually not the best thing, especially when we continue to get these unemployment uh, numbers that come that come out at the beginning of the month. Each and every month when this information comes out, we look at it and we think this is good information. It's a lot of jobs that are being created. The unemployment rate is going down or holding steady. That's good in general. But right now, it just gives the Federal Reserve more kind of leeway to continue raising interest rates. So again, on one hand, it's good news, but when it comes down to the Federal Reserve and everything else that's happening, we look at it and it's actually good news is bad news. So that is what we gotta pay attention to. Anyway, I wanna come back and share this information with you because when I continue to see these politicians telling us that all is fine and dandy and all is good, everybody's fine right now, I just feel like, I don't know, it's just, you gotta be kidding me right now, right? It's just, it's just super annoying. I'm not sure how else to say it. It's just, it's really annoying that they continue to say that because clearly they don't know what is actually going on with the real people, especially right now that the extra allotment for SNAP beneficiaries has ended. That is a bad situation, right? Um, so that's something we got to continue watching closely as well as the average household, according to what they said, the average household is losing about $82 per month right now. So that's gonna you know catch up with people pretty quickly maybe for a little while things will be fine but after that once you know the food supply at home or things like this continue to pr um, progress for a little while a few weeks a couple months we're gonna start to see the major effects of that going forward so anyway uh yeah, just want to share this with you. It's just some information that I found out there. And again, I always like to bring it back to you and give you the real information that's actually happening based on the real reports that are being released rather than what the politicians are telling us and what they want us to believe, right? Well, I think we're all living it right now. So I think we can all clearly see for ourselves what is actually happening. Anyway, I'm here for you. Please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos right here on the channel. And as I get more information on anything coming out, the data, the economic data, the releases, uh, any new bills, packages, and proposals, anything else coming out of Congress or anything else popping up right now we can possibly grab or take advantage of, then obviously I'll be right here for you, breaking it down as well and letting you know right away so we can take advantage of that. So. Of course, I'll keep you posted. Please enjoy your day. Have a good one and catch you again later in the next video. Take care 